We've got a leg, probably it's an abscess with cellulitis, which is an infection around it, but let's go take a look. Uh-oh. Hello. Hey, how you guys doing? Good. All right. She's an old soul. She's like older than I am. I am. <laughs> so, you know, you guys are in for a treat because I'm old. And if she's an old soul, you're going to have some wis wisdom to share with our viewers. Yes. Right? <laughs> Take a look. Yowza! Okay. So, what you're seeing, folks, is a little puncture wound. You said you had a little um, scrape there or something? A little like, pimple thing. A little pimple thing that came up there, and then you've got a raised, very red area. And then I just wrote this pen mark earlier of the area that's got some redness and it is warm. You can feel that, that's warm. So I think what you have is an infection that started here as a pimple or a little pustule or abscess, tiny, and then it's spread into the tissue, what we call cellulitis. What should we do about it? I don't know, you're the <laughs> doctor, not me. <laughs> she is wise, very wise. Do you like pain? No. <laughs> Okay, good. Good answer. I was going to make sure that we don't have pain. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. So. What if I do? Then you can tell me. You can say, Doc, I'm feeling that. So we put a little air in there and then we draw off a little bit of lidocaine. That's the numbing medicine. Okay. Okay. And then we get the teeniest needle, I think, known to mankind. I think, I, I think that's not the tiniest. Well, wait till you see, though. See, the, you're just seeing the, where it attaches. Inside there, can, you can barely see the needle, see? I can still see it. Yeah, but it's so tiny, I don't think you'll feel it. I think I will. I bet you won't. What if I do? Then you can say, ow. I feel, I feel, I feel, you I feel, felt I feel, it? I feel, I feel. Really? I feel it. You do? Yeah! She's laughing though. But you're laughing. Does it hurt? Does it really hurt? Yeah, it does. I'm sorry. Okay, well the beauty of what we're doing here, you already went through the hard part, right? You literally stick that whole needle on the body. <laughs> it's tiny, remember? It's so tiny. Um, big. So what I'm doing for our viewers, your fans, I'm very slowly infiltrating a little bit of lidocaine. Get you can actually now. see, it yeah hurts. I will. You can actually see a little blanching right there. Oh, and now we're getting a little bit of pus. Ah. Perfect, so I'm gonna take it out now. Oh my God. You did it. Blood. Blah. All right, Blood. so you can get rid of the lidocaine. That part's done. All right, this is just to get some of that pus. So you can kind of, there's blood and then there's that yucky pus. Oh, we got some pus. That will definitely grow something. There's pus on the end of that swab there. Oh, see it came from right there. Nice. So that goes in this tube, bloop. What'd it feel like? It feels like a needle. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels like a needle. It feels like a needle just got poked yes. into you? Yeah. Hmm. That's, that's very accurate sounding. Do we trust this guy? No. I don't know, right? No, we don't. It's hard, it's hard to imagine he knows what he's doing. Uh-oh. I heard that. Something about, does he know what he's doing? Alright, so... Okay, I feel something. I feel it, I feel it, I'm trying to feel it. Okay, it's not that bad, but I still can feel it. You felt something? I feel tingling. Ow! Oh, you did feel that. Okay, that hurts. All right, All right, good job. So, just for the heck of it. Okay, that's hurting. That's hurting? Yeah. Sorry. Hey. So, so there's a fair amount of press we got out of that. Yeah. So can I go home now? <laughs> you ready to go home? Yep. I, I, I bet. Give me that push, that push. Yeah, we need to get some of that out of there. I'm sorry. Just be brave. Be brave. This is the only part that hurts. You're doing great. You yeah, like the needles do. The needles hurt? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to leave that as is. I'm going to flush that a little bit since it's already since it's already uh, numbed up a little bit. I don't think this will hurt any. We're just going to make a mess. You like messes? I don't know if she doesn't. <laughs> Mom, you don't like messes? No. I know she doesn't. Well, that's funny. When I was raising kids, 
My wife did not like messes. And the guy behind the camera there, he was a big mess maker. Hey! Ah. Can you not Actually, put that in me? Yeah, I won't. No, it's not going oh. in you. We're just gonna flush with some water. I didn't mean it to be that tiniest needle. I need a bigger needle. Yeah. That does get you a nice little stream though. Does that still hurt? Yeah. It does? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, leave me alone. Leave me alone, what man. You, what you doing there, Doc? It's a channel pod. Dr. Paul? Uh-uh. No. Paul Thomas M. <gasps> There's a million followers. Almost a million. Okay. She's not impressed. I've seen Vega. Oh. I've seen Vega. Me too. You're not wrong about that. <laughs> okay, can we go home now? Almost. Just gonna do one last flush with a slightly bigger oh needle. Oh my god. You wanna push on me? I'm sorry. You did awesome, by the way. If you went to the emergency room, mm -hmm. they sometimes would open that up even bigger. Yep. Uh, okay. Make a bigger cut, and if they got more, they might pack it. This one, I think, isn't quite ripe enough. I mean, there's just there's only a little bit of pus at the end. Releasing it like this, getting you on antibiotics to cover this infection, I think you're going to be just fine. But what you're going to watch for is, is this redness spreading past where we have these lines? Or is this getting just... Oh, angry red, right? Okay. Okay. And I don't. I think you're gonna be fine now that we've opened it up. My legs are numb now. Your legs numb. <laughs> All right. We've got a little mupirocin on that. We're just gonna put a fancy. That is a high tech fancy band aid. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's just a band aid. Oh, okay. You're right. It's just a band aid. You don't have any allergies, do you? Only the peanuts. To what? The peanuts. Oh, I thought you said parents. <laughs> <laughs> Allergic to parents. I wish. I wish I was allergic to parents. To peanuts. Yes. Okay, we're not going to give you peanuts. We're going to give you trimethoprim sulfa. Sulfa, in this part of the world where I'm practicing, covers the um, methicillin-resistant staph, MRSA. And when you have an infection like this, that's number one on my list of concerns. So it is almost always covered by trimethoprim sulfa. So we're going to put you on that medicine. Make sure you take your medicine twice a day faithfully. Come back if this is getting worse. Any advice for your fans? Mm -hmm. You might need some crutches. You might need some crutches. <laughs>